At 12.35 local time on Saturday, March 22, 2014, the 607 foot long Liberian registered bulk carrier Summer Wind collided with the lead barge Kirby 27706 of a two barge tow that was being pushed by the towboat Miss Susan. The Miss Susan and its tows had an overall length of 670 feet. The collision occurred in the Bolivar Road's precautionary area where the Texas City Channel, the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, and the Galveston Ship Channel intersect the Houston Ship Channel. Earlier that morning, pilots had suspended boarding of deep draft vessels due to fog. As visibility improved in the north, vessels began to get underway outbound. The summer wind boarded a Houston pilot in the Bolivar Roads Anchorage at about noon for its transit up to Houston to load a cargo of grain. The summer wind was to be the first inbound vessel to move that day. The Miss Susan was underway in the Texas City Channel bound for Kirby's Bolivar Fleet area, pushing two tank barges carrying almost two million gallons of oil. The summer wind got underway and the pilot made a broadcast on Bridge to Bridge VHF Radio Channel 13 reporting as a ship coming out of Anchorage will be heading inbound for Houston. The pilot on board the summer wind made a radio broadcast as inbound ship leaving Anchorage passing buoy 12 and increased engine ordered speed to half ahead. The summer wind increased the engine speed to full ahead maneuvering and made a radio broadcast as the inbound ship going to Houston passing buoy 16. The Miss Susan made two radio broadcasts that she was leaving the Texas City Channel bound for Bolivar. In addition to the Miss Susan, there were three other tows converging on the entry into Bolivar, the Buttercup to the south, the Mission and the Nature's Way Commander to the north. The towboats had been communicating with each other by radio and had agreed that the Buttercup would be the first tow to enter Bolivar, followed by the Miss Susan, then the Mission, and finally the Nature's Way Commander. The 454 foot long general cargo ship BBC Indiana was outbound in the Houston Ship Channel, making a wide turn into the Galveston Ship Channel. The summer wind passed the BBC Indiana as previously agreed to by the pilots aboard the two vessels, going out of the channel to give the BBC Indiana more room to turn. As she was entering a fog bank, the captain of the summer wind began sounding his foghorn. Seven minutes before the collision, the mission asked the Miss Susan if she was going to avoid the inbound ship. The Miss Susan replied that she would be crossing the channel. Both the Summer One and the Miss Susan were using radar and automatic identification systems for navigation and marine traffic situation awareness. The Houston pilot aboard the Summer One was also using his laptop portable pilot unit. Four minutes before the collision, the Miss Susan hailed the summer wind and the two vessels began to discuss destinations and passing arrangements. Both vessels had checked into the Coast Guard's Vessel Traffic Service, but during the time leading up to the accident, the Vessel Traffic Service did not act to warn about the close quarters situation. As the situation unfolded, both vessels tried to avoid the collision, but the bow of the summer wind struck the lead barge pushed by the Miss Susan, puncturing the double hull and releasing 168,000 gallons of oil into Galveston Bay. This video, looking forward from the summer wind, shows the collision as the barges pushed by the Miss Susan appear out of the fog.
This witness video shows the visibility of about one quarter mile in fog just after the summer wind collided with the barge.